Speaker, welcome to the gavel. I'm Linda Akibi. Senator Dino Melaye resumed plenary during the week after a cat and mouse game with the police and still in the center of court cases on allegations of criminal conspiracy and unlawful possession of arms. The senator resumed with guns blazing, leveling fresh allegations against the police and demanding that President Buhari apologize to the National Assembly for making comments which he terms derogatory. Um, the same order 42. It was drama all the way when embattled Senator Dino Melai made his first appearance in the Senate chamber after a running battle with the police. Before commencement of the day Senator Melaye made a grand appearance at plenary on Tuesday, May 29th, wearing a neck brace and aided by a walking stick. Mr. President, I told you that... He has pending court cases on allegations of criminal conspiracy, aiding of jailbreak and unlawful possession of firearms. Same as Senator Gumel has come to meet me on the matter I wants to raise. On the his colleagues went to his seats to welcome him back. On point of order... 43, personal explanation. Senator Melai then addressed the Senate. He leveled some allegations against the police. The Nigerian police attempted to kill me twice. One through the application of a chemical substance and the second time through injection. He also made an interesting request. I have a special request to you, Mr. President, that because of the trauma I went through and I'm still going through, Mr. President, I want to seek your indulgence that you will call on the side that I am to look for a comfortable seat for me on this side of the divide because I am no longer comfortable sitting here. Senator Melaye is then led to the opposition side of the Senate's chamber. Members of his party opposed his request for a change of seat. The seats on this side are better arranged, better positioned, and more comfortable. I sat there for eight years, and I know how the seats there are. Mr. President, I've sat here, I've sat here for the last three years, and I know the difference. Yes. We have therefore the best seats to give to our colleague, friend, and brother on this side. We are beginning to institutionalize chaos. If we use any excuse whatsoever to transfer member across the aisle. However, the arms of opposition lawmakers are wide open ready to receive him. Sir, at any point in time that any senator on the left <coughs> feels that he or her seat is uncomfortable, the me. person is welcome here. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to welcome Senator Dino to sit here. Yeah, we are the ones that should have complained <laughs> that this is for us. We are, we are not complaining. We must be our brother's keeper. The our Senate president yes. ruled on the matter. I don't think at any time at all in either Senator Dino's contribution or anybody's contribution that the issue of change of allegiance of party ever came across. It has not, it's not an issue that has come up today at all. Senator Dino's concern talks about his comfort and his, and his state of mind. None of us have been through what Senator Dino has been through. Neither do I think the rules have ever foresaw this kind of situation. I would like to say that as part of our spirit of giving the support to our, our, candidate, our colleague, pending when we make your seat comfortable, you tell us what we need to make that seat comfortable for you. We, 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 we accommodate his request and, and ensure that we will continue to do our best through the chief and the management to make that seat comfortable so you can come back to your seat. Okay. The drama continued on the next legislative day. Senator Dino Milai asked President Muhammad Buhari to apologize for making what he called disparaging statements against the National Assembly, 
when he said some lawmakers have been in the National Assembly for 10 years without doing anything. President Buhari made the remarks on May 22nd when he received a delegation of the Buhari Supports Organization led by the Comptroller General of Customs at the presidential villa. This year's and last year's budget I took to the National Assembly was the highest in capital projects, more than 1.3 trillion naira. Let anybody come and, and confront me publicly in the National Assembly. What have they been doing? Some of them have been there for 10 years. What have they been doing? Senator Milaya is displeased by the comments made by President Buhari. Last week, the president in the presidential villa, while addressing a delegation of the Buhari campaign organization, and this was televised in channels newspaper and, sorry, channels TV and AIT, and I have a copy here to tender before the Senate. Mr. President, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in his address, said he doesn't know what we are doing in the National Assembly. I felt this statement, Mr. President, is not only unpresidential, but it's an assault on my person and the institution of the National Assembly, where I am proudly a member. Senator Milai also finds offensive the Senator role played by the Comptroller General of Customs, Hamid Ali, during the visit to President Buhari at the presidential villa on May 22nd. Controller General of Customs is a rank, and its customs is a paramilitary organization. And if the Controller General of Customs will be leading Buhari campaign organization, that is an aberration and against his oath of office. If he were wearing his uniform like I proposed earlier, he wouldn't have led the Buhari organization to meet with the president. But the Senate president called for caution. Believe, I would like to believe that Mr. President definitely uh, must be misquoted. And I think that and as such, um, we should not rush to, to come to these conclusions and in so doing make contributions that might of be of concern. Come and lay your, the, the disc. Uh, Nevertheless, Senator Dino Milai submitted the video evidence showing President Buhari's remarks, which he finds offensive. President Buhari is not the only person recently to make some comments about the National Assembly, which lawmakers view as unsavory. The Senate is also frowning at comments made by former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atahiru Jega, accusing lawmakers of soliciting for bribes in their various committees from officials of different government agencies.